All right, well, check this out. An absolute mess inside a West Oakland gas station. So this is the aftermath of a wild burglary. Thieves used a backhoe to smash through the window. You can see where it tore apart an ATM. Leslie Gooden reports it is just the latest costly crime, making it hard for these gas stations to stay in business. This AM PM gas station is just the latest business that has been targeted by smash and grab robbers. Now the workers tell me that a group of individuals had a backhoe ram into the gas station, nearly killing a worker, stealing money from the ATM machine. Now the customers tell me that they want something to be done about this ongoing crime in Oakland. Oakland is doing way too much. It's, it's, it's a problem out here, it's driving businesses away. Um, it's stuff that I've, I haven't seen since the 90s. Brandon says he is born and raised in Oakland and comes to this gas station off of West Grand Avenue pretty often and tells me hearing about a group of people using a backhoe to break into the wall to steal cash from the ATM for him, it was... It's not shocking. Um, Oakland, I've seen worse with the shootings and all. This is materialistic stuff. This could be replaced. Lives can't. Um, so I'd rather see this than somebody lying in the street. According to Oakland police, the robbery happened on Monday at 2.15 in the morning. And police found broken glass and the vehicle still partially through the front window. The burglars had left, taking with them an unknown amount of cash from the ATM. The gas station is still currently open for business. Do you feel safe coming up here and getting gas? Yeah, I was debating on going to Chevron down the street, but I said, no, nah, this is this is my uh, home, so I'm safe. And this burglary is what many in the community are calling a trend among Oakland gas stations. Like on last Tuesday, I spoke with the Chevron station off of Redwood Road, who had been broken into twice in a week, having damages totaling $20,000. And the owners tell us they no longer provide an ATM in their store due to past thefts. And we reached out to the mayor's office about what is being done regarding this ongoing problem. She was not available for an interview, but in an email stated that she is focused on implementing a comprehensive approach to community safety and is using technology to build cases against organized criminal networks. And we are still waiting to hear back from council member Carol Fife's office. But Brandon thinks the community can help too. I think community uh, rally uh, against all these, uh, these folks and start speaking up. We have to start speaking up. I know, you know, snitches get stitches, but what are we here? I mean, we have to protect these businesses. What are we gonna have? We're losing businesses left and right. We got elderly that can't even go to Walgreens. And OPD says that this still is an open investigation and they are asking for the community to help. If you have any information to please come forward and call the burglary unit at the number located at the bottom of your screen. Information Lesla will have that number also on our webpage. 